This is a short video I made on stream regarding Hydraneer. I had played the game for about 35 or so hours, and I spent the first, I would say, five of the beginning of the game completely lost. Uh, these are some tips, some things I overlooked, some things I wish I would have known from the get-go that I hope you enjoy. But my first tip, the, the better nugs are below... The layers of dirt are in the muds. I don't know. I don't know. I was, I, I was workshopping that in my head when I was in the bathroom earlier. I, I already hate it. So I'll pull a piece of dirt from up here. I'll put it right there. We're going to dig all the way down from as low as I can get to in the first area. So this is the dirt from higher above. The surface dirt. And this is the lower dirt. Oh, I was hoping they're both going to be... Um, iron. Here, let's try it. It's still gold. Wow, all gold, huh? What? Oh, there we go. The smaller piece from the top soil is worth three gold, three monies, or whatever they're called. And the uh, bigger piece from the bottom soil is 23. So you're going to get a better chunk. The, the point of this is to show you that there's a better quality bit of resource the lower you go. This applies to everything. Gold, shards, uh, cloudium, whatever else, gems, all, all the same here. So in the big early game, you're going to be tempted to sell everything you have. My tip here is only sell your gold and your gem. Process your gems with a grinding wheel. Process your gold with the furnace and or what is called the furnace and the crucible and the casting mold i mean go into this process before you start selling your iron your cloudium save all your cloudium i didn't do it this is all stuff i wish i would have done in the beginning there was a point in which i was ready to upgrade to an iron drill and uh, sorry upgrade to a second iron drill it takes 300 iron and that takes a long time with this <laughs> number three involves the cart and shopping my tip here is is try to place your cart if you're going to a shop try to place your cart or your truck or whatever uh where you want it to be before you start shopping and think about this exact motion right here so if i grab something yeah that secondary uh indicator of where it's going to drop you just you grab it and you turn and then you can drop it right where you need to the great thing about these carts and trucks is everything falls and none of it will bump into each other it will only bump into the cart so you can place like loads of the same thing over and over and over in the same spot here we're gonna need some of these anyway this part takes is takes long enough as it is everything i just did takes long enough as it is you shouldn't have to do the same thing once you get over to where you are so place yourself where you need to be like on top of your cart grab drop This makes shopping so much easier. Secondary little tip here. Do your best to organize your space, as in your piles of stuff. I don't know if you guys have ever played with Legos, but there's that one kid that like would lay out all of his all of his his Legos uh, by color or different block type or something like that. And he was always faster at building the Legos than you were. Yeah, I was that kid. Put all your Legos in the right spots. Keep them organized like that so you know where they are. I need a a, 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 a tea pipe. Go grab it. I need a macaroni pipe. I go grab it. <laughs> You've been collecting your stuff. You've been making money. You're shopping more efficiently. You're organizing your way, your workspace. Now it comes to upgrades. Because you, you will probably be around this point. Anyway, you'll probably have a couple of these out. You're probably here... You're letting water drip in your bucket, so on and so forth. Your life is getting nice and automated. The future is now, blah, 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 okay? You're going to be tempted to upgrade to this. I don't recommend upgrading to this first. This is cheaper for one and a lot easier to manage. So here's what we'll, here's what I'll show you. You can set your little space wherever your dirt is. 
Fill your bucket up with four pieces, and all you have to do is dump it in, and it spits out your goods. Easy as pie. You're superseding the whole water bucket process. Now there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you can kind of go from here to kind of make this more efficient, but that's the best early game setup right there than anything else I had set it up before. So this is this right here is your best friend. You see how it still highlights an orange? That's going to highlight an orange, but this highlights an orange. And if I want to grab this, sometimes you may grab that. And now you're annoyed with yourself because you keep grabbing the same thing. I could have bought this so much sooner than I did. I bought it way later. Now I can't grab that at all. It also helps with your frame rate, by the way. The reason why I'm even mentioning the rake is I think it's a useful tool for clearing space out. My base on my proper on my proper world. And what I've done is my entire factory and everything is underneath right here. This all area looks nice. I don't have anything on right now, but this is my like where everything is. My lowest point, my lowest point, guys. <laughs> but this is where I uh, kind of organize everything. But I have it all underground just because I, I want it to look nice. I want it to look cool. Uh, and I don't want it to look like some big, huge, obnoxious crater in the ground. So I recommend using the rake. At the same time, the rake itself has been a, a huge point of contention for me and stress. And my understanding, too, is the developer is very aware of it. Really quick little tip. I, I just discovered this. I don't know. Not just discovered it, but just didn't occur to me that I could do it this way. If you're having a hard time loading something or a bunch of something, just grab it and you can still drop it with the same button, but you can suspend it in air. I think every time I went into the build mode, I, I would just go to build, but now, nice. And then my final tip, you got your grinder. Uh, maybe you've been using your rake. You've gotten a little lower in the ground. You use your rake. You get your first drill. Wow, this is amazing. You have a drill. The rake and this particular tip are... I'm putting a little asterisk, asterisk by these because I imagine they're going to get fixed. But this bad boy right here can be cheese. There we go. All right. Well, you notice the drill is way up there. And you're probably thinking, this is not going to work. Here, we'll turn it on to make sure it doesn't work. I, I put it way up here. Why am I so stupid? Oh, it does nothing. Well, let me show you a little juicy trick here. We're going to grab a piece of dirt from anywhere. We're going to put that piece of dirt right there. Just kind of centered. And look what it started doing. It starts dropping out little chunks. Now, I don't believe this works with later drills because the later drills actually uh, drill downward from my understanding. Those are my tips. Those are the best early game tips that I can give from my first 30 hours of play. This comes from somebody who spent, I don't know, the first three hours really lost. <laughs>